Hey everyone, a long time no see. I'm back. Uh, we have just found, or we had just found, a house about a week ago. So if you're new here, welcome. As usual, I'm just jumping into the video without even introducing myself. My name is Tasha and I've come back to managing the mother load. <laughs> so um, that was the initial name of this channel when I tried starting it like a year ago and then kind of like did one video here and there and now I'm you know, gotten a little bit more confidence and I'm posting more often, but I haven't posted for about a month. Um, we have been in the process of moving out of our home and finding another home and we have found one and we are in it and it's going to be very kind of loud and echoey because I am in a pretty much empty house. I just kind of uh, came in today, got the keys this morning and just basically unloaded everything that was in my car and my husband's car and now he's going back to uh, load up car the car his car from the boxes that we had over at my mother-in-law's house and now we are going to meet the movers and kind of get everything moved in so i'm going to take you along for an empty house tour and then i'm running over to walmart because i have a whole list of stuff that i need to grab so maybe i will just kind of add that into the end of this video and it'll kind of be short and sweet we're just showing you that we are back and we're going to be you know continuing regular aired programming over here <laughs> for the most part cleaning decorating grocery hauls i will be doing what i got my kids for christmas uh christmas videos christmas clean and decorate with me it will be kind of late in the season as most people started in october but you know circumstances are what circumstances are so i'm going to turn you around and give you an empty house tour and then we're gonna run to walmart okay so the house is a four bedroom single story kind of very similar to the last house we were in only i like the layout of this house just a little bit better it's a little bit bigger than the house we were in um and and square footage the backyard is smaller where we were on a little over an acre where we were this is just like this is close to you know town and you know we are in the mix of actual an actual suburb so anyways as you come in this, this big open room unfortunately I am going to have to put my office like there in the corner or maybe there I'm not sure I want the kids to all have their own space the ki two kids were sharing a room last time but I've come to realize that everyone just kind of needs their own space and they're not here while I work my husband is usually sleeping or working while I'm working so I don't for the time being, I mean, there will be fine. So this is the living room and the dining area. And it opens up to, I guess if we just come this way, there's a hallway, a bathroom, and all the kids' bedrooms are kind of just in a line. So it's gonna be kind of nice. Nice big bedrooms with nice big closets. And we haven't quite decided who's getting what room yet. I kind of figured that I would make that decision. I know it's fun for the kids, but I don't want fights. And I kind of think that I can make the decision and, you know, cut down on the amount of bickering. Nice big bathroom for them to share. And then I know for sure this will be my youngest child's room because then he'll be between his brother and his sister and close to us as well so I kind of figured since he'll be kind of on his own for the first time that that will be that'll be the best option for him as you come around here this opens up to what will be the dining room and then the kitchen is smaller than what we had in our old house but it is it will work perfectly well for us um, just, you know, your standard kitchen. I haven't cooked on glass in over four years, so that's gonna be interesting. Just trying to get used to a new oven and all that. Uh, some, some storage over here, and then dishwasher, you know, your normal stuff. I'm going to have to, you know, use one of, I think one of these or maybe one of those for an extra pantry because there's no pantry really in this house. I mean, there's a little one back here, but um, not nearly the size that we had before. So I'm going to either have to, you know, I'm just going to be mindful of what I buy, which is good. It's good for me anyways. Um, refrigerator will go there, a little bit of storage at the top. 
And then this will be the laundry room. Um, and it is an okay size. A cabinet for detergent and stuff like that. So just have that in there. And then a cabinet up there. And this cabinet in our houses, like the one cabinet that you never get to, like I'll probably put light bulbs and stuff on this side, but I always put this canister up there. And that was my great grandmother's who was 100% Native American. And she had a, made a lot of these types of like pottery containers. And I used to have two, but I broke one. So this is all that I have of her. She was my grandma Cordova. She was a wonderful lady who was very loving. And I have a pretty cool story about her that I might share at one point um, if you believe in you know, spiritual and, you know, visitation from the other side. She visited me in a dream, which is pretty cool. So she was always like, every time you went to her house, she was cooking, you know, homemade tortillas and beans. And she just, she was the best. Anyways, over here, this will be our actual food pantry. So quite a bit smaller than what we had. And then it opens up to the kitchen again. So I can't remember what I haven't shown you yet. I think just this back room and our bedroom. So... This back room is going to be my oldest child's. They're all pretty much similar size, similar style. So there is that. I thought I'd put him way back there in the back of the house because and because he, you know, is like a preteen and in that phase. And the other nice thing about this house is our master suite is, you know, away from everyone else. So that's kind of nice. Uh, extra storage, like coat closet here. And then the bedroom. It's a nice size. And then if you come over here, nice size bathroom. We don't have the large soaking tub here, but that's fine. We're growing out of baths, you know, anyways. I'm pretty much the only one that takes a bath just for relaxation. So kids every once in a while usually just showers on the run quickly, uh, trying to get in and out with all three kids. So that will work. I need to go grab like shower curtains and stuff like that. Nice size storage in each bathroom. These are like the same kind of cabinets that were in the other in my other house, in my previous house. Like the same kind of wood and the same tone. So I'm I like that. I like that color. So anyways, that is everything. Hello there. For this video, besides I might bring you along to Walmart and kind of show you a haul and I don't know, fun, exciting stuff coming. So let's head out to Walmart. Hello. One of the good things about where we're at now is our kids' school and Walmart is like a hop, skip, and jump from where we're at. So that will be really nice to not have to drive 15 minutes in the morning <laughs> to drop off kids. We were kind of out in the country um, before, out on land. So, you know, it's a drive to everywhere and, you know, nobody delivers out there food wise. Amazon goes out there so you know it's a double-edged sword because I need to you know be mindful about spending and not ordering food every single day <laughs> but we are so ready just to get settled back into our house into a house into our own space and you know get back on our own routines uh, our dog poor thing has anxiety really bad and she doesn't mind being at my mother-in-law's but for short periods of time and we've been there for a month so she is ready to be in her own space as well so yeah i'm heading to walmart gonna grab what i need and then i'll head back to the house and kind of give you a haul if the movers aren't there because i'm not going to go ahead I mean, maybe i'll just go in another room i don't know i can't i can't uh, i can't film in front of my own husband much less strangers <laughs> so. I will bring you along as we get this house all set up and talk to you as soon as we get back from
I'm back. The movers are doing round two. So I kind of just put everything out that I grabbed from Walmart and from Target. And it was Walmart over two days because I went the other day and picked up a few things and then today. So I'll just kind of show you everything I have because some things have been put away. Um, my husband just started putting things anywhere that they he could find a place for them. And so I will just kind of show you what I got or accumulated over the last couple of days from Walmart and Target for the house. It's the first official haul in the new house. I'm pretty excited about this, so let's jump in. This is everything I got from Walmart on this side, plus a couple things behind me, and then my little tiny Target haul over there. So I will kind of just, uh, I'll start, well, let's just start with the, the Target haul, I guess, since it's littler. Um, I grabbed this from the bullseye section. I think this was five bucks. Um, this, uh, what is this, a serving tray? So I'm going to put this as a decoration in the kitchen. I grabbed this for the kids. It's like a little wooden, uh, what is it called? Charcuterie, charcuterie board for Santa and his reindeer. So we use that around Christmas time. I grabbed three of these little bags to do something with. I have three kids, so I figured I will do something, put it in their stocking or put it on a tree for them or something like that with one of their, like, I don't know, money or a gift card or something in there. I grabbed two spatulas. Um, I picked out this one just to have in the kitchen. Why isn't this focusing? And then my daughter picked out this one because it's pink. So we're going to make cookies at some point here soon. So she wanted those. And then I picked out a couple of these candles from the Target bullseye section. And this little nutcracker guy. I'm thinking of starting to collect nutcrackers because... I was collecting snow globes, but um, in the move, two moves ago, most of my snow globes didn't make it. So this cute little Santa cookie jar, he kind of caught my eye at first, and that was the downfall of all the other Christmas stuff that I bought. So I grabbed him, and then I was like, okay, then I like this, and I like this. So that's why I have a lot of Christmas stuff here. This cute little glass, uh, it lights up. Christmas tree ornament. Probably put that on that board in here. Small candy canes for snacking. Um, my daughter and sons, they get to pick out one ornament for the tree each year. Like our tree is an everything tree. And so each year we add something that we're into or that means something to us. And she picked out cakey from Gabby's dollhouse. But I had already got her a cakey to put on the tree, so I might take mine back because it's, you know, it's still in the package. So I might take mine back and get something else that means something to us this year. But that's what she'll be adding to our tree this year. And then I got some peppermint Mrs. Myers to go ahead and use here in the kitchen, well, in the house. And then coming over here to the Walmart haul. Um, I grabbed a scrub mommy and some regular sponges, some dish soap for the dishwasher, and then this is that cakey that I already got her, and it's almost identical. I think that one that she got actually is better quality than this one. I think this one's plastic, and that one's like a more metal, so I'm going to take this one back, so I'm going to set that back there and take it back, and then for my sons, they love... Um, Jurassic World. So I grabbed Beta uh, from uh, Beta Blue from Jurassic World uh, Dinosaurs. What am I trying to say? And they also picked out, which they're not here because they were been playing with them. They they each picked out a dinosaur. My son got Tyrannosaurus and so Rexy, and then my other son got Giganotosaurus. So we're gonna add those. I grabbed some towels to have here in the kitchen just to kind of have for now until I can get find my towels and get them unpacked. Um, the pans, this was on a Black Friday special at my Walmart and I don't remember if it was 60, but it comes with all the pans, the measuring spoons, um, this guy, baking dish, uh, wooden spoons, and so I did need some more pans. It's from the Pioneer Woman. I do love that brand. So I grabbed those in the color, like a gray, like a steel gray color. We have a lab, and so I couldn't I couldn't leave the store without this. This is adorable. It's just like a little wooden, um, I don't know, little 
decoration piece, but it looks like our lab. She's a black lab as well, so looks like her. So I grabbed that for decoration this year. I grabbed one of these cute little 98 cent um, list pads to have for making notes and grocery lists and stuff like that. Um, this cute little pie plate, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's going to be a decoration, maybe hold candy or something here in the kitchen, but I loved it. It got me. These cute little dishes got me. So I got both of them, like with the plaid and the trees, and I don't know what I'll use them for, but I'll find something for them. Down here, uh, my daughter had picked out these the other day when we were there, so she wanted these Lulu Girls hair clips and these iridescent telephone, old telephone cord, what are these, scrunchy things? <laughs> I tell you how old I am. This is what telephone cord is to be made out of, if you're wondering. Um, and leave it in the comments if you remember that. Having to be attached to the wall on the phone with your telephone cord and you twirled it as you talked to your friends. Maybe it's just me. Candy, a bunch of different snacking candies to have on hand. My daughter is a big fan of Kit Kat, so I got her a package of these, which we will all enjoy all of these. Kit Kats, some Grinch Kisses. Those are adorable. I might put this in one of these dishes and some candy canes just to kind of have for when people come over. The Ghirardelli, the um, milk chocolate and caramel and the white chocolate and caramel are my son's favorite, oldest son, so I got those for him. And then my littlest guy likes Reese's, so I got him these Reese Nutcrackers, which we will all partake in all of the candies. And then I'm going to leave a little special treat in each room, since they are not picking out their own rooms and I'm picking out their rooms. I'm going to leave a little, their favorite candy in their room. So my oldest child loves Milk Duds, my daughter loves Nerds, and my youngest child, he loves anything, but I got him some Starbursts to put in his room. So. When they go in there today, when they get home from school, when they see their rooms for the first time, they'll have their little candy in there. That'll be kind of cute. I grabbed these, um, a cutlery set. Not cutlery. Yes, cutlery, but, um, you know, forks and spoons. I was in desperate need of a new package of that, those, so I grabbed the Oneida brand. This is freaking expensive. This is like the most money that I spent on any one item. Um, they were just as expensive as the pans, I think. They were like maybe a little less expensive. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it was just, it was shocking how expensive um, these are. So there's that. I grabbed a couple cake pans to make. We're having our family Thanksgiving this weekend where our family comes from Colorado and we get together and have a family Thanksgiving. And then we have Thanksgiving for the rest of the family that lives where we live on regular Thanksgiving. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed just like a table cover and then all the plastic uh, paper plates, all of them, because we got to do something super simple this year with everybody, well, with with us moving and everyone coming. So, cutlery, napkins. We're doing a pretty simple Thanksgiving this year. Then down here, I grabbed toothbrushes for us and toothpaste for kids and us to have on hand here in the new house. Some straws. Back here, some wet wipes, and then I grabbed a big package of toilet paper, but I think that's already gone to the bathroom, to the bathrooms. And then I grabbed three hand soaps, one for each bathroom and one for here in the kitchen, and the snowdrop scent. Then just some regular toiletry items or regular, you know, items for bathrooms and cleaning. Grab some Dawn, grab some body wash for my husband and for my son, for myself, for my daughter. And this is for my husband as well. Some power wash for the kitchen. Some Tide 4-in-1 for the laundry. Trash bags. Floss picks. And then I think that's it for over here. Coming over here, I grab just some things to snack on while we're moving. Bugles are my favorite. Boom, Chicka Pop is always good. Some sodas. And I feel like I'm missing the... The, I think the vacuum might still be in my car. I just grabbed a little vacuum. I grabbed some waters, which we've already been into. I grabbed another notepad, which I've already used. And I grabbed a new trash can for the new house. Trash cans are expensive too, so I just grabbed this one. It wasn't too bad. Our other one had to stay with the other house because it was kind of, it was built for 
the cabinet that it went in. So there's that. Coming into the bathroom, I grabbed a wet brush for my daughter because she grabbed a brush that she doesn't like. And so the wet brush usually works better for her hair. I grabbed a bunch of loofahs for them to have some of these shower curtain rings and a new shower curtain and liner and a shower curtain rod. I grabbed a package of these. They were really cheap. They were a Black Friday deal. They were like two bucks for six of them, but two are in my bathroom. Then I grabbed two of these towels just to have for a quick bath tonight if we need it. One for this bathroom and one for the other bathroom until I can find where the towels are packed up. I grabbed this the other day when I was at Walmart. It is a big circular mirror. It looks like that. It's upside down. I'm sorry. Um, 20 bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. I was going to put this in my living room, like with some decor, but my daughter has decided that she needs it. We were at Walmart another day and I had already bought it. It was in my car and she was like, oh, I wish that I had that for my room. So now it's hers. And I'm just taking you everywhere in the house today to show you where things were put away. <laughs> so I grabbed toilet paper and then I grabbed some of these shower curtain rings. I left the rings with my with my other in my other bathroom at homes or my other home, my last home, the home that we sold. That wasn't very smart. I just I don't know what I was thinking, so I just grabbed another package of those to put up the shower curtain. Brought the shower curtain, I left the rings, so silly me. And another shower curtain liner, two loofahs for us. And the vacuum cleaner that I got. I just got this Bissell compact. We don't have a ton of carpet in this house, but we do have a dog who sheds. So we'll use this up and see how it does. If it's not quite strong enough or whatever, I'll grab the bigger Bissell. So that is going to be it for this video. I'm exhausted and it's not even lunchtime and we have a ton to do. So I'm gonna bring you along it's windy outside, as you can see my hair's doing whatever it wants here. Um, for setting up the house, cleaning, uh, Christmas decorating, all the fun stuff. Eventually we'll have a what I got my kids for Christmas because I have almost everything. I think everything is being delivered today, has been delivered to my mother-in-law's house, or will be delivered by this weekend. So I should have everything and I just got to find a hiding place for it and then... I will bring you along for that fun too. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Consider sticking around and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.